Hello and welcome to a status video tutorial. Here we have the bodice part first, uh, the front and the back. You, you can see the front is uh, bigger here, longer. And here we have um, the neckline uh, binding and the armhole binding. So we have two and two. Um, here you can see uh, the front and the back are two mirror pieces. So now we're going to start by pinning together front and back um, and uh, uh, stitching the shoulders. Okay, here it is. This is the back part because it's uh, shorter here. Um, you should have also the notches for the center back and center front. Um, you should also mark in some way uh, the back part, maybe put a pin on it. Uh, so you know that this, it is the back part because here I have the lines the uh, The pattern helps me of the the pattern of the fabric helps me Remember what which is which but if if you you're using um, Monochrome um, fabric uh, you should mark in some way Okay um, Let's stitch the, the shoulder um, the shoulder seams. Uh, I'm going to use um, my uh, overlocker. If you not, do not have the overlocker, you should use a stretch stitch with your sewing machine. Okay, here it is, the stitching. Uh, press it toward uh, the back side. Okay, here it is. Now we have to find, uh, to mark the center, because there we will uh, Put the center of the binding. So the center is not the shoulder uh, seam because, as I said, this uh, front part is bigger than the than the back part. So we are going to put together um, two pieces, uh, back and front, and we're going to find the center. So see, here it is. Here, this is the center. So you see, it's not a shoulder line. It's moved here do the same thing uh, on the other part so now we're going to do the same thing on the neck line binding uh, find the center it's here mark it on both uh, bindings i forgot to tell you you have to press in half the neck uh, the neckline binding okay if you are a sewing beginner um, you should baste this uh, these two layers of fabric together, it will be easier for you, based with a long uh, stitch. And um, now we are going to match the center of the binding with the center uh, of the bodice that we marked uh, before. So we match the centers, which is here, the start and the finish, and here in the middle. So right sides touching. Now we're going to go and stitch here near the end. I mean, stitch us uh, following the seam allowance, which is one centimeter. Again, if you are a um, beginner, uh, first base, then uh, uh, with the first base with long stitch, and then go uh, with your um, overlocker. It's easier for you. Okay, here it is. The stitching. Now top stitch. Highly recommended. It's not uh, mandatory, but highly recommended. So keep the uh, seam allowance under the bodice, not the binding, and stitch near the edge as um, as near as you can, two millimeters, and uh, from start to finish. This will keep um, the stitching in place, and it it will look nicer. So here it is, top stitched. Okay, now we're going to um, we're going to close this part here. So turn it turn it on the back side, right side stitching, pin here and stitch here. Here it is. Now we are going to stitch the binding um, here also, like uh, on the neckline. Uh, the back side it's a little bit bigger so 
um, the center it's a little bit on the back side it's like five millimeters here okay, you can also use this one as a sen put center here but if you want to be 100% precise you see it is five millimeters from here okay here are the bindings also uh, pressed in half now you should join this um, sides here uh, short sides uh, right sides touching so stitch here here they are mark the centers here it is upside down um, here's the shoulder line so um, pin the um, the binding on the bodice uh, the armhole binding um, uh, here you will pin uh, the uh, seams, uh, both seams matching, and here the centers. Okay. Uh, here again, you should uh, first baste this, and then uh, if you are um, sewing beginner, like you did with the neckline, if not, just uh, stitch it with your overlocker or the sewing machine. Here it is, uh, stitched and top stitched, okay? Now we are going to baste center front with the center front and center back with the center back. We are going to do this by matching the notches. So here it is, you see the notches one on the other, just match them, and then paint all around and stitch near the edge, uh, I mean baste, baste. So this part stays uh, basted, stitched, it's easier to attach the skirt part. The same thing on the center front. Uh, my advice is to put a pin here, you see like here, so it doesn't shift all around, uh, otherwise uh, this one will open and it will shift all the time. Okay, this is it. This is uh, for the bodice part. Usually, I, um, when I have these crossings, I cross them uh, from right toward the left. This is the rule we have in Italy. Like also for the um, shirts for women, it's from right to left. But sometimes I just don't follow this rule and go at random. So this is it. This is the bodice part.